Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio and welcome to a, uh, uh, a culmination of this guitar. In this episode you're going to see this guitar basically come together. There are a few little bits of uh, finessing, a little, little bit of carving, a little bit of uh, chisel work and uh, some decision making that need to be done before Matt can take her and get her through the finishing process and the final commissioning. I had forgotten how exciting it was to come to the end of a build and I apologize that this and the hand tool build have taken so long. So this body is something that I knew would uh, throw up interesting, uh, interesting things. It was chosen because it is lightweight, uh, Western Red Cedar or something like that. I actually forget uh, now that this has taken so long. And in spite of the fact that it was nice and dry, it has actually shrunk or shrunk further a certain amount and I've ended up with a little bit of a ridge here where the fretboard and the body meet. And you can just see it in this shot. The wood tends to shrink uh, far more uh, across the grain than it does with the grain and uh, this isn't too much of a surprise and it's also not actually a major issue. Uh, I do still need to carve the uh, the all-access neck joint uh, that I had planned. You can see where I'd carved away a lot of the neck here. And basically I'm going to sit here and carve a certain amount of material away at this uh, point and change the angle. It does not need to be 90 degrees there. Uh, there's a little bit of a curve uh, on the edge of the fretboard anyway uh, going down the neck. So I'm just going to uh, fettle that in and tidy it up, make this joint more comfortable and uh, that'll be that. So. Music on, headphones in, chisels out, on we go. This studio is only vaguely organized at this point, but it's getting there. Hello my old friend, it's been a while. You just need to make sure with the tool you're working with, you be it a chisel, a gouge, even a screwdriver, or your brain is actually up to the task. You need some sharp tools, haven't used these for a while, and uh, I want it to go right. First try.
Yeah, time for a sanding stick. This is the new lower, uh, tighter radius. Tighter radius? Uh, not as tight radius. What's the word I'm looking for? Needs coarser paper. Turns out a supply of sandpaper is one of the things that I do not yet have at this workshop, so I'm just gonna crack on with files then. Get in there. I'm edging up onto the uh, fretboard slowly. I don't want to take away any width for the of the off the frets. I need a gouge, I need an inside ground. I need an inside ground gouge like that. Not really sharp enough. I could also do with uh, a clamp to hold the guitar down. There we go. When cutting across the grain like this, you really need absolutely sharp, sharp, sharp. My hand is just off the, just off the edge. It might look a little bit scary, but I'm not actually cutting directly into my palm. And now I'm on the harder wood, even though I'm cutting across the grain, it's much, much easier. Working with softwoods is not fun. And there we go. Gonna need some sanding, some final shaping, but that is what I was after. On to uh, the rest of this here now. And the nice thing is that's a relatively subtle twist in the wood. It's actually going to make the guitar more comfortable, but also is basically not really going to be visible.
Okay. I like the way those two faces sort of mirror each other, or at least are starting to. That, uh, that excites me. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. Just a little bit of uh, tidying up on this shape and I can pass this back on to, uh, to Matt. Working the softwood, you've got the, the harder striations, the harder grain, and it's really difficult to keep an even line when you're using a bladed tool like this. Or actually, for that matter, sanding. It's part of the character of the stuff, I suppose. It's part of what gives a guitar made in this stuff character, to speak more precisely. And I kind of want the hard edge on that line to slowly evolve into, into a soft, smooth transition. Okay, so I'm, I'm very happy with that transition now. Uh, there's a few more bits and pieces just of uh, tidying up and, and uh, bevels and, and the like, but uh, this is this is good. It's very very comfortable. And uh, Matt, I'm sorry. On to you. Much sanding. Have fun. I need to do these this style inlay for myself one day. Really like what I did there. Oh no. Yeah. I literally just ripped that lamp off the thing that I'd screwed to, and I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that wasn't quite stable enough. Mm. Mm. 